Hey you guys, it's your girl Chokes Attraction here and today I am here with Diamond Letter number 5. So let's get started. Okay, so this one says, Hey, I seen your video and I need advice. So I have this ex-boyfriend who, which was my first and the first boy I ever loved. He still wants to communicate with me like hang out and we do from time to time but I want a real relationship. Not a friends with benefits type of thing. But I don't want, but I don't think he wants that. And we never really get to spend time with each other as much as we used to. And every time I tell him how he feels, he simps to me, but nothing changes. So what should I do? Okie dokie. So the first part that I want to address is the fact that um, he still wants to communicate and hang out and all of that stuff from time to time. But you want a French, a, a real relationship and not a uh, friends with benefits type of thing. So now, um... The first thing I want to say is, if an ex-boyfriend is an ex, there's a chance that he's an ex for a reason. So I don't really feel like redoing, like going back and rekindling stuff really works all the time. Because all it's going to do is reopen up the doors that show you why you're not with this person right now. If you guys broke up, you guys broke up for a reason. Whether it was something happened or you guys just outgrew each other or someone cheated. Whatever the case may be, you guys broke up for a reason. So, unless the feeling is mutual as far as both of you guys getting back together, I don't feel like you should um, really be friends with someone, especially if your um, feelings are not all the way gone. Nine times out of ten, the only way that a uh, ex relationship works is if the two parties are no longer like feeling the same way about each other. And like the feelings are not there, like he doesn't like you like that anymore or you don't like him like that anymore you guys still care for each other still love each other like as a person but the like intimacy and friendship relationship feeling liking lovey-dovey stuff is gone like that's the only way that relationships with friends be like exes being friends works out now you said that um you want a real relationship and i'm not sure if you just want one with him or if you want it um in general but if you want a relationship in general, then I don't feel like you should, um, like, pursue him in that type of way anymore. Because if he wanted you back, I feel like he would have tried his best to get you back when y'all woke up or whatever. Now, being that he was your first boyfriend, I know it's going to be extremely, extremely hard. Harder than it, I know it's going to be harder than it normally would be if you were um, intimate with him. Especially being that he took your virginity or whatever. But... You're gonna have to try your best. Like when I say try your best, try your best to not allow that to stop you moving on. Because a lot of times the whole first thing tends to allow females to be stuck and not want to move on, but really want to be with the guy who um, they lost their virginity to. And the guys, like guys, move on way faster than girls, which sucks. I know, but I don't know. That's how it. That's how it goes. That really, really sucks for real. But that's how it goes. Now the fact that when you say that you don't want a friends with benefits thing, I don't know if you guys do have a friends with benefits relationship now, but if you do, cut that off. Like don't allow that to happen because all he's doing is getting the benefits of having his cake and eating it too. He's not with you in a committed relationship, but he's still getting all the benefits of you. And he does, like, if we're not together, you shouldn't have any type of benefits with me. If we're going to be strictly friends, then all that benefits is deuces. There's no more of... Uh, any intimate stuff, there's no more lovey-dovey stuff, all of that, no flirting, nothing, if we're just friends. Because the friends with benefits thing tends to have females in this mind state where, oh, yeah, we don't have a title right now, but I'm waiting. Don't wait for no boy. Like, let if he, if he wants you, he's going to pursue you. So, don't allow that friends with benefits thing to mess up, like, you're, like, you moving on or you finding someone better than him. You don't think he wants a real relationship? So, go with, like, your instinct. Don't sit there and try to, like, force him into one, but then don't keep mentioning it because then eventually it's just going to make you, look, not make you look thirsty, but it's going to just keep opening the doors for you getting shut down if he doesn't want that because he's still going to be out there doing him. And the whole friends with benefits thing is only going to ruin him because your feelings are still going to be involved and invested in him even if his isn't. It, even if his feelings aren't invested in you guys being together, your feelings are at, like, stay care because you don't want to be more vulnerable than he is. And also, 
you said you guys really don't get to spend as much time together as you used to. Now that would be another thing. If you guys are not seeing each other as often as you used to when you guys were together or prior to that, then that would be a, a whole other issue in terms of you guys even getting back together because if you guys are not seeing each other as much now, I don't know if like the effort is not being made, but that's just asking for more problems, girl. If you guys are not seeing each other as much as you would like to or whatever, don't even put yourself in that position. Just be friends. And if you feel like you're not ready to be friends with him, then that's alright too. Don't feel like, oh, he was my friend so I have to be his friend. Just until you are ready to be friends with him, take things at your pace because that's what matters. And also now the fact that you said every time you um, bring it up to him or tell him how you feel he sims to you or whatever, just don't bring it up to him anymore because you brought it up already. He didn't act on it. He didn't make any changes. He's still acting as the whole friend thing or y'all being communi like y'all communicating, and he's not trying to take it to the next level. So don't mention it anymore. As much as like I know when stuff is like on your heart or on your mind, you want to bring it up to see person's reaction to see their, if their reaction change. Just don't bring it up anymore because then he's going to start feeling like, all right, I got her. Even though you guys are not into it anymore or whatever, don't make him feel like he has you in the palm of his hand because that's nowhere to be. Just do you and work at your own pace and try your best to get over him. I know it's going to be hard. I know it is. But try your best because it's for your own good. So um, if there's any other details that you need to... um. Let me know about a uh, like with the situation. Feel free to write me at trulyattraction at gmail .com and I'll definitely answer you. And also, um, if any of you guys who's watching this have any diamond letters that you would like to submit, feel free to submit them. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.